So I worked through Owen and Calvin in particular on the grounds of leaving a church. And there's four principles that I get from those two men, and they're in the article. But the first one is, is the gospel being preached? Is the gospel being held to confessionally and being preached? Uh, is it being preached in our foreign missions program? I think we have to answer all those questions if you say yes. Second issue, does the church you're in persecute you for holding to the truth? We're not being persecuted for holding our beliefs. People, some people might laugh at us or whatever, but uh, there's been nobody tried to put us out of the church yet. Nobody's tried to keep us out of a presbytery yet. Uh, and if that happened, if a man was kept out of the presbytery for holding to the confession and that went to the General Assembly and they didn't reverse that, then we've got an objective standard. The third um, ground that the two men give is, uh, is does the church require you to sin? We've passed some, I think, some pretty foolish things uh, at our General Assembly with respect to uh, women and uh, other social identity issues. Uh, but uh, those are basically statements of one General Assembly. They have no binding authority. And there's nothing that's come out of a Presbyterian General Assembly that compels me to sin. Uh, now, it doesn't have to have happened to me uh, because, again, of the corporate nature of the church. Now, the fourth principle applies more to those, our hearers, hearers who are not at officeship level in a denomination, but in a local congregation. And the fourth one is, uh, am I being edified? Or is this church, there's no edification for me in this church? And I think this is what a person has to work through when they've come to, to a deeper grasp of the Reformed faith or covenant theology. It comes a point they need to do it respectfully, but if the church is teaching false doctrine uh, by what they've come to understand, they leave, and particularly if they have children. So for those four reasons, I'm of the very strong opinion uh, that it is not time uh, to leave the uh, Presbyterian Church in America. And I plead uh, for patience with those who have given up and are jumping ship.